we go. Off for a break already, ladies. There's work to be done. You can have a cuppa and celebrate with custard cream when we crack this, and not before then. You, uh, what's your name? Uh, Paula, any ideas? Right, sorry, that's... Never apologise. Never explain. Right, but my name? What about it? Nothing, but you called me Paula. And... That's not my name. I'm Charlotte. Charlotte? Sure. Well, yes, unless my parents have been lying Because you look like a Paula. Okay. Yes! You can call me Paula if you'd like, sir. That won't be necessary. I know your name. It's Ginny, isn't it? Yes, that's right, Mr. Mingella. Please call me Oz. Everybody does. Short for Osberta. <laughs> Besides, you look nothing like Paula. I thought your name was Jenny, not Ginny. Shh. Strapline pronto, so do something to justify your wages and get with the program. You don't get paid? What? We're interns, you don't pay us. Oh, explain it to her, somebody. As interns, while we're not technically remunerated in financial terms, we are paid in kind. The name bears so and on our CVs and a favourable reference will basically guarantee us a position in any advertising, marketing, or PR company in the world should we wish to apply to it. Correct! <laughs> Something's what's done there. So while there's no cash, there is cachet. Well then give me a job. What? If the name Best Domingella guarantees me a job in any advertising, marketing and PR company in the world, and this is indeed a marketing, advertising and PR company, give me a job. A proper job for real money. Suppose you think you're very clever. I've got a first at Oxford, which tends to imply something of the sort. Well, Miss Magna come a that day. As Geraldine pointed out. Your application depends on favourable reference. Favourable reference from me. Which at the moment is looking like a dim and distant dream. Okay? Right, so back to the matter in hand. Stay right. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to brainstorm as many ideas as you can. On your marks, get set. Go, go, go! Ten seconds. I hear whispering, I don't hear scribbling. 20 seconds. Just me, I'm Charlotte copying! What? <laughs> no, I'm not! Oh, why are you all over her side of the desk then? I just wanted a pen and some paper. And you got me? No. Why not? I wasn't told I'd need any. Jerry, you should break something. I wasn't told anything except to come here and wait for you. And that was 45 minutes ago. Oh, right. So it's my fault, is it? What? I'm clearly the blame for not giving you clear enough instructions and leaving you waiting, am I? That's not what I said. Well, I'm telling you now, young lady. I was in meeting room one. Huh? Meeting room one. With the head honcho from Staybright trying to keep his accounts in our company. I was working hard to maintain we all have a future. What were you doing, might I ask? Nothing. Precisely. I wasn't told to do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm telling you now, we have the time it takes him to drink a skinny latte to come up with a slogan, or we're all for the high jump. What do you got? Uh, well, it's still a work in progress. Not expecting the Sistine Chapel straight off. Um, uh, uh, but I, I thought, um, stay bright. <laughs> <laughs>
waiting. Um, how about um um Still time you're waiting. Um oh stay white, stay light, with stay bright. Rubbish. What? Total garbage! Better than her! Ah, I'm getting something, I'm getting something! Stay white! Stay light! Stay bright! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> That's what I just said! No, it isn't. Yes, it you is. You said nothing of the sort. Yes, I did. That's precisely what I just said. Are you arguing with me, young lady? Well, if I have to. You said, stay white, stay light. With stay bright. My strap line used no such conjunction. It was therefore punchier and more successful. With is a preposition and not a conjunction. It's one bloody word. Too many is what it is. Yeah, and even I gave you stay right. No, you didn't. That's the name of the bloody project. <laughs> Don't you such a squid in front of me! Now write out a hundred times, I shall not steal each other's work and pass it off as my own. Well, get on with it! I would if I had pen and paper. Here. You can borrow mine. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> and would you have an apple, sir? Oh, uh, how very kind, Castor. One of my five a day, eh? Ha! <laughs> 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 Private reading. 